Dr. D. Right. Uh, you were born on April 15th, 1931. Right. Uh, here in New York. Right in Brooklyn. Yeah. At the Brooklyn Jewish Hospital. Uh-huh. Uh huh. In those days, it was a, a, a mixed neighborhood uh -huh. called Bed. It was called Bushwick or Bed Bushwick area. But then became the Bed Stuy uh -huh. area, known all over the country as Bed Stuy. Okay. Uh, and in that area, it was still a mixed group of folks, uh, white and black. And on my block, there was many white families that were black families. And during that war time, particularly, we were a group of people that you, could, you wouldn't tell what color we were. We were rainbow color folks, Irish, Italian, Jewish, black. It was a magnificent time in Brooklyn. And uh, we went to school together, we played together, visited each other in their homes. I learned how to eat German food and they learned how to eat fried chicken. Uh, I learned Italian food and, and all the other things right in that, from the houses where we went to. We didn't go to restaurants a lot. But we used to go to houses and things like this and the families communed. But it was World War II, World War I, uh, World War II. And the thing was, that it was very interesting because a war draws people together. Uh -huh. Because when somebody died, a soldier on the block, we all went to their homes and, uh, and mourned with the family, you know, that soldier that died, whether we be black or, or white. And so it was a wonderful time in Brooklyn. And um, uh, people were not segregated in a sense. Mm -hmm. They didn't segregate themselves out. And as time went on, I was born in 1931 there in Brooklyn, in Brooklyn Jewish Hospital. And, um, went to school right around the corner. We all went to neighborhood schools. That was a wonderful thing also. We all went to neighborhood schools because we all lived there. Nobody was bussed out from any sense of the term, bussing, being bus. So we dealt with what we had to deal with. But I never saw racial things happening in school or someone calling a person a bad name. Uh, and so, and the teachers were mostly white teachers. Uh, we had uh, some black teachers and black principals, but not many in those days. John B. King was really the first, one of the first black principals that was in that area, John B. King, renowned, who became the first black superintendent of schools mm -hmm. here in Brooklyn. So he was a wonderful man, and we had, so we had all these kind of families living together and enjoying each other's culture, and uh, we grew up like that, which gave us a, a kind of different outlook on life, in a sense. Uh, not that it wasn't racism, things going on in those days because at the same time we were living like that, people were still being lynched in Mississippi and Georgia and all those kind of places and those things would come up in the newspapers and things like this. But this did not say turn us against, against a white neighbor because somebody was lynched in the South. It was just one of those things. Uh, the South was going through it had changes and, uh, and it had some very deep problems to deal with and of course which brought on the marches of Martin Luther King and all of those people, Malcolm X, and, oh, just, you just name it, we did it. 